Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Marvel Spider-Man 2. Hope you all are doing well, having a great day, and had a great weekend. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, enable notifications, and leave me a comment. So, continue with the main story. It's Peter trying to save Harry. I think we're starting to get to the end. And there might be an epilogue as well. I might do an epilogue episode, and... One where I actually unlock the suits and show them to you. Now let's get into it. Harry! Hey, it's Harry. Leave a message. Hey, buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. I was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. I'm just showing that for the people that didn't see the previous video. Also, I am sorry if I don't talk a lot during the fights, but there is a lot of talking during the fights as well. And sometimes I'm just concentrating on the fight. Using the rail handling handles as purchase <laughs> railing. I have to admit this pipe walk, like in the previous with the lizard as well, is really interesting. It's you kind of like move with it and oh God. look at all those symbiotes how did they not see me I feel like the xenomorph in aliens That sounds more like a sigh than a frustrated growl, and Peter sounds like his voice is about to crack or something. <laughs> I can't run here. I drink dark. I want to help you, Harry. Oh no! Spider-Man, who are you? Did you go down there? You were right. It has to be here. He has to. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I know, man. I'll try to find a way inside. It's gonna be okay. Everyone's gonna be okay.
Well, that was interesting. Harry! Harry, talk to me! See what I mean? There's always talking. I feel, feel like I'm always interrupting something. But, yeah, the venom suit power, anti-venom power stuff helps a lot. But that going dark is scary and annoying. Please help us, Peter. We need you. I'm trying, buddy. I just need that meteorite, okay? Yeah, I do not want to fight this symbiote of Venom. Miles, I'm not seeing a rock. No? Hold on, I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Good man? Oh, we need to call MJ. I know where the meteorite is. <clears throat> MJ, we all need to meet up at May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. Okay, cool. I'm going to swing there, and if there's any conversations, I'll cut it in. Otherwise, I'll see you when I get there. Listeners, I implore you, stay inside your homes. Lock the doors. Board the windows. Trust no one. The city is overrun with a miasma of massive, oppressive tendrils emanating from the ground beneath our feet, spawning creatures from what feels like hell itself. They're capturing us, converting us, and will soon overtake us. Don't give them the chance. While the government sits on its hands, my loyal listeners have taken to the forums, looking for any signs of weakness these creatures show. We will defend ourselves. We know we can't count on the Spider-Men to save us. If this last week's events have proven anything beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's that the heroes make things worse, not better. In the meantime, stay safe. Remain vigilant. We will get through this. New York does not go down without a fight. And I will be there, right next to you, on the front lines. Godspeed. And we all see tomorrow. I oh, say, so here it is. This is your last chance to collect resources to upgrade gear before the end of the story.
Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan... Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. <laughs> no more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are it you. won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <gasps> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Oh, come on, bro. We're the spider team. <laughs> Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. me first. The story, Watson. We are doing the ending as Mary Jane. <laughs> but that sonic adjustment looks pretty cool. And Peter had some nice playing hair there for illustrative purposes. <laughs> this is funny. Yes, this is pretty cool. 
awesome intro and cinematics and stuff. Very cool. I'm sorry, this is going to be the end of this video. And hopefully we conclude it in the next video, the finale. Be well, have a great day, see you in the next video.